Hello everyone, this is Engineer Balsamo. This time, tuturuan niyo po kayo on how to solve DC shunt generator problems. A shunt generator delivers 50 amperes of current to a load of 110 volts at an efficiency of 85%. The total constant losses are 480 watts. And the shunt field resistance is 65 ohms. Calculate the armature resistance. So shunt generator this time, the path you are familiar of the uh, diagram of the different types of generators. So for the shunt generator, we have okay, supply here, which is E, positive, negative. Then we have here the uh, resistance for the armature. And after that, it is connected parallel to the resistance of the shunt. And parallel to the resistance of the load. That's it. So this is resistance for the shunt, resistance of the load, armature resistance. Therefore, this is armature current. That's it. Armature current. And this is shunt current and load current okay now the uh, <clears throat> now our voltage for the load is 110 volts so this is 110 volts okay so our P load or power for the load is equals to VL I L this is so kunin natin yung PL dito PL now we have 110 volts times 50 amperes so this is 50 amperes kalabasan is 5,500 watts. Now, for the PN, so because this is P out, eh? this is also P out. Okay? Kasi ito yung PN natin, ito yun yung power output. So, P out also. This is also P out. P output. P output. Okay. Now, our PN, P input, is equals to P load over efficiency. Because, sabi is, efficiency is equals to P output over P input. So, ito yon, Ito yung rason kung bakit nakuha natin yung P in is equals to P out over efficiency. So given and P out, given yung efficiency, we can solve the P in. Okay, so it's 5,500 over our efficiency is 85%. So 0 0.85 is equals to 6,470.58. Eight uh, watts. That's it. Okay. So nakuha na yung PN. Dito. Another that we are going to solve is the ISH. ISH. Ito yon. Is equals to. Okay. Um, VSH over RSH. But then, sabi nga natin, VSH is equals to VL. Kasi, in parallel, for parallel, okay, parallel. Sabi, is V total is equals to V1. 
is equals to V2. So, ito yun. Ito yun. V1 and V2 is equals. Okay? So, mayayari, ISH is equals to 110 over 65 ohms. Therefore, ISH natin, just natin, ISH natin is 1.69 amperes. Now, we will get now the IA. So, this is the IA. It, so, IA, ayan yung IA. So, magiging IA is equals to sum up mo tong dalawa. Pag sinam, pag sinam up mo to, ang result niya is equals to IA. Okay, so IA is equals to ISH plus IL is equals to fifty one. Kasi fifty yung ISH uh, one one point sixty nine. Okay, one point sixty nine plus yung ating I load is 50 is equals to um, 51.69 amperes now to get the armature resistance find or think a formula na present ang lahat so power PL is equals to IA squared times RA plus ISH squared RASH plus P stray per losses. PL natin is uh, 6 for 70 6 for 70 point 588 minus 5000 is equals to 51.69 squared times RA okay plus 1.69 squared times 65 plus ang piece tray natin is 480 yun piece tray natin the total constant losses okay so, P strain natin is 480 watts. Therefore, our RA is equals to 0 0.114 ohms. So, that's it. Our armature resistance is 0 0.114 ohms.